Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Today, I'd like to discuss how AMC's price has been held down by short sellers. I wish to describe the actions of retail investors and institutions over the past two and a half years. In addition, what the shorts have been doing and how we can tell they are becoming increasingly desperate as time passes. Therefore, remain tuned and let's earn some cash. And I want to get right to the pertinent information. So Bigham tweeted that AMC is having its greatest month ever and is about to surpass its second quarter numbers. Ank is now capable of raising capital. It has new revenue streams with the release of candies. Additionally, popcorn will soon be available in more stores, and there is more AMC merchandise. However, people abruptly sell when the company's fortunes improve. Know that the shorts are manipulating AMC as aggressively as possible. He stated that they need AMC to raise as little capital as possible while diluting the stock as much as possible in order to cover as many synthetic shares as they physically can. He stated the more AMC can raise with fewer shares, the more the shorts are screwed. If Adam Aaron sells 500 million or 5 billion shares prior to a stock split, this effectively allows shorts to exit their synthetic positions. However, if Adam Aaron is only selling 25 million shares, the shorts will not be able to escape. Therefore, they are tossing everything at AMC in an attempt to reduce the price. Relax, stated the adage, since the rise in June 2021, AMC has maintained approximately the same amount of retail ownership with 3.8 million retail shareholders, while institutional ownership has increased. How is it possible for the stock to have declined by 93% when investors have purchased more shares than they have sold? If both retail and institutional investors continue to purchase, how is the price of AMC currently falling? Adam Aaron and AMC's 10K filing verified the number of 3.8 million shareholders, and the increase in overall shareholding is also confirmed by AMC's OV. Effectively, the ANC on balance volume displays the number of shares that have been sold or the number of shares that are currently held. The ANC OBV, or on balance volume, is presently close to its all-time high at 53 billion shares. Over the past two and a half years, retail investors have increased their AMC share purchases, but the price has continued to decline. Therefore, it has been verified that retail investors are purchasing more shares. Additionally, institutions are purchasing more shares. How then is AMC's price still dropping? The simulation primate nation has responded. The shorts are manipulating AMC with an increasing number of ladder attacks, he tweeted, noting that the stock is down 12%, despite trading less than 2% of the volume. It appears the shorts are attempting to instill dread. Yesterday, AMC plummeted over 20%, from $4 per share to less than $3.50. As validated by Ortex, we now know that this was due to shorts shorting more and not retail investors selling. Only yesterday, 316 million additional shares were borrowed and sold on the market. The daily net change was 26 million additional shares sold short. Given that the shorts had only legally disclosed 130 million borrowed shares, this represents an increase of 20% of their entire short position in a single day. If we estimate the total number of shorts to be between 4 billion and 4 billion synthetic shares, that's an additional 800 million synthetic shares added illegally in a single day. The shorts are in an extreme state of panic, and they are doing everything they can and tossing the kitchen sink at AMC in an attempt to keep the price low. This is further supported by the fact that AMC has been on a regulation shoe list for 40 consecutive days. AMC would have been removed from this list a long time ago if sellers weren't shorting more shares every single day with more and more FETs and it appears that the shorts are becoming more desperate as they increase their level of threat. Moomoo registration is free. It only requires a one-time deposit, and it's a fantastic method to support the channel and me. Additionally, Moomoo is very simple to use. They have an abundance of technical indicators and sophisticated charting tools, as well as their own trading platform for options. During my vacation, I spoke about what individuals have endured. People have been threatened with lawsuits or jail time for possessing AMC shares, and it appears that Jen is next on the list of individuals who have been threatened with litigation and imprisonment for purchasing AMC. She stated that fam I am being harassed by this examiner because I own AMC stock. 
He is menacing me, claiming I will be sent to prison, and making additional false claims. Examiner has now made their account private. Therefore, not everyone can view their comments. However, he threatened Jen, stating that she would be sent to prison alongside Adam Aaron for collusion and embezzlement, claiming that it was equivalent to racketeering. Clearly, these threats are hollow attempts to convince or intimidate you into selling your shares. I can assure you that no one will go to prison for purchasing AMC stock. This threat from Ethan, which should be taken seriously and demonstrates the desperation of the shorts, is, however, one of the few significant threats that may not be empty. Ethan tweeted that he believes it is time to visit the corporate office of AMC. Billy responded that he could not pass the metal detectors because grenades appear to send them off. According to investor commentary, breaking news individuals wearing shorts, possibly involved in the AMC litigation, appear to be plotting an assault on the AMC corporate office. Again, this type of threat is extremely grave and should not be brushed aside or treated lightly. This is a very severe threat that demonstrates how desperate the shorts are. The shorts are no longer attempting to convince or implore you to sell your AMC shares. It appears that they have also passed the stage of attempting to threaten you into selling your shares, as they are now attempting to attack AMC cinemas. Perhaps Dade Murphy has revealed the reason why the shorts are becoming so desperate and persistently attempting to threaten you. Now, Boss Blunt has tweeted that he would like to personally praise the short sellers for reducing the price of AMC shares from $4 to $3 per share. He stated that this permitted him to purchase over 300 call contracts last week and several hundred more this week at a substantial discount. Now, I am not promoting the purchase of call contracts or puts, the sale of call contracts or puts, or any other option-related activity, because these are short-term strategies. Buying and holding shares is obviously a much longer-term strategy, but Boss Blunt is effectively praising the shorts for driving down the price of AMC so he can purchase more shares. I've previously stated that only two prices are significant for AMC price, one is $1,000 and above, which is the pressure price. Two is the dollar threshold below which AMC becomes insolvent and delisted. The shorts will not win until AMC declares bankruptcy, and we will not win until the squeeze. Everything in the middle is meaningless. Whether or not the cost is three, four dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, or fifty dollars for each share of stock. That is irrelevant to me but $1,000 or more is significant to me. $1 and below would result in AMC's bankruptcy. This is important to me as well. To me, however, everything in the middle is foolishness. So please let me know what you think in the comments section below. As always, gentlemen, be sure to ring the notification chime so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video. A toast to you.